Hello, Austin. Good afternoon. Uh, we are EP Bird. My name is Fritz, and this is Steven right here. Um, we are but moments away from being ready to do a huge Diet Coke and Mentos geyser fountain for you guys. Uh, that's what I like to hear. So um, uh, we want to uh, let you know what we're going to be doing here. We have, um, as I said, 104 bottles set up. Uh, and each bottle has a patent pending nozzle on top. These are our patent pending Mentos delivery systems. Each nozzle has six Mentos mints inside it. And uh, each, uh, each nozzle has a pin running across that keeps the Mentos from falling in, we hope until we mean to pull the pin out and have the Mentos fall in. Then it's a process called nucleation. Now it's a physical process, not a chemical process, that makes this work. The, the surface of the Mentos candy is so chemically rough that all the carbon dioxide, all that fizz in the soda is drawn to the surface really, really quickly. And it happens so quickly and there's so much pressure created then we get a geyser that can go 20, 25 feet high in the air. Looks really cool. Yeah. Now, one of the things we want most of all, because Maker Faire is, well, besides being one of the coolest events on the planet, yeah. one of the things that's great about Maker Faire is it's all about trying it yourself. So we want to tell you one of the easiest ways to try this yourself is to make a tube of paper and you can put, you only need about six Mentos inside that tube of paper. You hold the tube with a business card underneath it to keep the Mentos from falling out. You line that up right over the mouth of the bottle, pull that business card out so that all those Mentos drop all at the same time and run, exactly. <laughs> run as fast as you can. Uh, now, one of the things that's easy to forget is that that soda wants to be warm. Okay? Like a lot of reactions, they work really well when they're warm, not so well when they're cold. Uh, when, we, uh, when we did one of our first performances was in Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, all the soda had been outside in, a, in, a, in, a, in an unheated space overnight. And it had snowed. <laughs> so when we tested the first bottle, the geyser was about this tall. A little, a little anticlimactic. So we had to run around frantically and put all the soda bottles on the hot air registers, get the temperature up to about 80 degrees in the, in the uh, club that we were performing in, warm the, warm the bottles up, bring them up to the temperature that they're at today where we'll see some really great geysers. Yeah. Yes.